إن الحمد لله نحمده ونستعينه ونستغفره ونعوذ بالله من شرور أنفسنا ومن سيئات أعمالنا من يهده الله فلا مضل له ومن يضلل فلا هادي له وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له وأشهد أن محمدا عبده ورسوله ثم أما بعد نبئ عبادي أني أنا الغفور الرحيم واعبد ربك حتى يأتيك اليقين Two verses that the Imam recited today that tells you who you are, who you should be, and who is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and how you relate to Him. Serve Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, fulfill the purpose of your creation. Shaykh, I'm comfortable with this one. Serve your Lord subhanahu wa ta'ala the way you are. And know your purpose of your creation as And this is how you continue your life. Now, know Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that He is Ghafoor Rahim. Picture this, you are in what? Ramadan. Doors of Jannah wide open. Doors of the hellfire closed. This is the mercy. This is the opportunity. This is the chance that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wants to make someone out of you and me. Someone who is forgiven for all the past sins that he or she might have done, and someone who will get and rise higher in Jannah. Who are the people that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala loves? Those who love Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and those who love those who love Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and those who love to bring people to love Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And how do you do that? Remind them of the ni'am when you want to talk to someone disobedient, make him stop his disobedience, or someone disbeliever makes him believe in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Talk to him about the goodness that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala blessed you with. Blessed him with. Talk about the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You're here, you witness Ramadan. This is a great blessing that many people did not get that opportunity. Imagine that if you witness one night, it's like you're worshiping Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala 83 years. Imagine that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala giving you the opportunity of forgiving your sins through the fast and through the qiyam, and through Laylatul Qadr. Imagine the multiplication of the rewards into this blessed month. Subhanallah. Rahim. Proclaim, talk, expand. Let people know that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala he is the one who subhanahu wa ta'ala takes the repentance, accepts it, and erase your sins. Even Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reminding Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam of his ni'am. Didn't we expand your chest? Didn't we make you feel good? Didn't we give you the message and the risala? Didn't we forgive all of your sins, past and future and present? Didn't we raise and elevate your status where your name is mentioned with the name of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala through the adhan and through the tahiyyat? And more than that, didn't we? Why? This is to let you know that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, His ni'am is so much and so plenty. Alam taro, alam taro, anna Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Alam taro kaifa? Shu al-ayah, shabab? Alam taro anna Allah sakhar lakum ma fi al-samawati wa ma fi al-ard wa asbaq alaykum ni'amahu zahiratan wa batila wa in ta'uddu ni'mat Allah la tuhsuha Can't you see how Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave you ni'am left and right? You're buried in it. You just don't realize it. You don't think about it. You think about what you're missing, but you don't think about the present ni'am that you have. Brothers and sisters, just look at yourself. You have a job. You are alive. You have a family. You have children. You have money. You have food. You are here in the house of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You are a Muslim. What kind of ni'am do you need? What is more that you need that makes you submit and makes you accept and makes you fall in love 
with the service of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Ibadah, ya ikhwan. Ibadah. Ibadah without conditions. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tell you, leave food and drinks, the one that is halal, the thing that you love the most, I want you to leave it. Show me that, you submit without questions. Alhamdulillah, you do it. I want you as soon as a mother says, Allahu Akbar, break your fast. No, I just want to go and make sure that the sun sets and the time is there and give uh, four or five minutes to make sure and all of that. No, this is not what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wants from you. He wants you to know that at time of Adhan, the best of what you have, break your fast. And He wants you to delay the sahur until Fajr time, not at one o'clock, not at two o'clock, not at three o'clock. It's not eat and sleep, no. Delay it as late as you want. Just like you submit it for the fast, submit for the breaking. And I want you to have suhoor. I want to bless you. I want you to feel good. I want you to enjoy the fast. I don't want you to sleep all day. I don't want you to make a difference in your life where you are not productive in any way. Stay up all night doing nothing, watching TV or playing games or whatever. Then sleep all day. I don't want you to do that. Have the suhoor. Drink, little drink, date, blessing. You know the difference? You know the difference? Who is telling you this? You think that little sip of water is going to suffice you from bottles of water when you get thirsty? It's not going to do that. But because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the one who can make you alive without anything, said, I bless it for you, take it from there. It's not the idea that one date is going to fill your stomach for 16 hours. It's the idea that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala blesses it and makes you feel good. And it does serve you and strengthen you as if you ate. Why? Because you submit. He subhanahu wa ta'ala wants you to take action. I just want you to take that little drink of water and I'm going to make it go a long way for you. Don't tell me what is it going to do to me. Don't tell me I need gallons of water during the day. Submit and know that he is subhanahu wa ta'ala al-Qadir. That's his name. Qadir. He's able. He can do anything. He can suffice you without a dream. You see the difference? You see when you submit, you understand. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wants you to go to Jannah. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wants to forgive you. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wants everything good for you. Enjoy Ramadan. Really enjoy Ramadan. Enjoy the Qiyam. Enjoy the Quran. Enjoy the charity. Don't complain about what you give or what people are asking. Know that, Alhamdulillah, I am not like in that position where I need someone to support me. Somebody is asking me to support him. That's a blessing. That's a blessing to know someone is asking you, help me, brother. Give me, brother. This is how you recognize the ni'mah of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and you make and take action. That's the ni'am how. Ibn Qayyim rahimahullah said, when someone comes and knocks at your door for help, this is a reminder from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that you have a ni'mah, that he wants to remind you of it, that you probably forgot about it. Someone is coming because he knows that you have better than what he had, and that's why he came to you. Take advantage of that. Take advantage of Ramadan, brothers and sisters, and make it a real blessed month. Exit from this month with the highest level of taqwa. That's the purpose of it. Make sure that you do everything with full sincerity and with full pleasure and happiness. Don't complain. Don't even let anything come out of your heart or out of your tongue because of Ramadan or any hardship in Ramadan. Say Alhamdulillah. I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to forgive you and forgive me and to make us inshallah always from the righteous people and those who call to make people love Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. I love you all and I love you for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And inshallah all of us will be in the highest level of firdaus. Ibn al-Qayyim, I conclude with that, said, إِذَا رَأَيْتَ الرَّجُلْ يُكْثِرُ سؤال الله سبحانه وتعالى الفردوس الأعلى فعلم أنها كتبت له. If you see a person constantly asking Allah سبحانه وتعالى to give him the فردوس الأعلى, know for sure it's written for him. He's going to get it because Allah سبحانه وتعالى gave him the توفيق to make the دعاء. And the دعاء is guaranteed acceptance. That's an amal by itself. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to grant you and forgive us in Allah. Jazakumullahu khayran. Barakallahu alaykum. Subhanakallahumma bihamdik. Nashhadu an la ilaha illa anta astaghfiruka wa natubu alaykum. Assalamu alaykum.